Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. Scott, please tell us why we're looking at a bucket of car soap. Inside that bucket is about three gallons of water. Inside the bucket as well is two ounces of a very popular SiO2 car soap. I'm going to do a little test here. On this panel here, I've completely stripped it of any type of protection at all. In fact, here in a minute, I'm going to get it wet so you guys can see. It doesn't sheet water, doesn't bead water, has no protection whatsoever. Let me put this camera down so you guys can watch what I'm doing and I can kind of talk through this process here, right? Okay, let me get this panel wet and show you that there is absolutely nothing on this panel whatsoever. The water is just completely flat. It's just dribbling off. It's got no water beating, no water sheeting. Do SiO2 soaps, or supposed silicon dioxide soaps, leave anything type behind? There is no coating on this vehicle. This is the best way to find out, because if I used it on a coated vehicle, what does that really tell us? Let's see on this uncoated tr surface if we can get any of the SiO2 to be left behind. I'm also not going to disclose what soap it is. You want to know why? Because it opens the door to, Scott, you're an idiot. you got to use this one, not that one. I've tested them all. Some are a little bit better than others. This one I actually like. But let me go ahead and clean off this panel or wash this panel with SiO2 soap. What do I notice about SiO2 soap right away? They do tend to be more slick than your traditional car soap, which is nice. I like that extra benefit, but is it really worth the extra money? I'm actually gonna be very aggressive here. Let me make sure I wash this thing improperly. Let's get as much juicy SiO2 goodness, if in fact there's any in it, all over the panel. I'll do this side here. So what I notice is that they tend to be a little bit more slick than a traditional car soap. Something very interesting too is I tested them all. Some of them are pH neutral, but many are not. That is very interesting to me. Some of them hover around 8 to 8.5 on the pH scale. I have an opinion about that, and I'll explain it in a minute. But here we go. Let me rinse this off, and let's see if there's any evidence at all that that SiO2 component or silicon dioxide had an opportunity to kind of change this particular surface that's not coated or treated with anything. The water behavior is the same. There is no evidence at all that the SiO2 supposed component within the soap has done anything to change the behavior of this uncoated panel. If I wash an, a coated panel, right, what would we know? We'd see water beating. So this is the best way to test it. I see no evidence of any type of SiO2 being left behind. I also know that most of them, not all of them, aren't pH neutral. The reason for that, my best guess, is coated cars have great self-cleaning ability. So somebody who's maintaining a coated car well, maybe washing it once a week, once every two weeks, they might want, maybe these manufacturers want to give them a little bit more of a pH kick, if you will. So maybe if they foam their car and just rinse it off, they'll get a lot of the junk off the car and their contact wash will be even safer. That's my best guess why some of them may not be pH neutral. The other thing is they're incredibly slick. That is really nice, but is that worth the extra money? Here is a warning when it comes to SiO2 soaps. This has happened to all of the ones I have used on the market. When you have foam around the car, you'll have it, right? You'll be walking through with your sneakers and then you'll go to a grocery store a couple of hours later and walk on a tile surface. Folks, for whatever reason, SiO2 soaps do something to rubber. It will bond to the bottom of my sneaker and make me want to fall right on my backside. But on paint, it doesn't show any evidence at all that it leaves any type of residue or any type of protection or any significant amount of the SiO2 component being left behind. The water is completely still flat here. This panel shows no evidence at all of any type of significant type of protection. That is my opinion of SiO2 soaps. Do they work well? I like the fact that they're, most of them are pH neutral. That's kind of cool, right? That goes up my alley. I also like the fact they're slicker, but as far as saying they replenish anything, leave anything behind, most of them, if not all of them I have tested, it's almost like the old gimmick of a wash and wax soap. 
It's just my opinion, folks. I love you all. Is it worth $50 a gallon, even if the dilution ratios are really, really good? Again, I use two ounces and three gallons of water, and I can't get any of these soaps on an uncoated vehicle to show me any evidence at all that the SiO2 within it, or supposedly within it, is really doing anything. There are guys that make videos that show it on coated vehicles. Well, that's great, wonderful. That doesn't really show us anything. They also will show you plastic around the car and say, look, we didn't treat the plastic, but look, it's beating water. Folks, plastic is porous. If water gets on it and it's sprayed on it a certain way, the water droplet will sit on plastic and it will look like it's beating. That is not a good test of whether or not SiO2 was left behind on a plastic component. Very, very misleading. I love you all. There's my opinion about SiO2 soaps. Why aren't they pH neutral? My guess was what it was. They're slicker. They're a little bit troublesome when you get on the bottom of your sneaker. I see no evidence they leave anything behind. Are they worth $50 a gallon? I don't know, folks. You have to decide that yourself. Again, I'm not going to disclose which soap it is. You want to know why? It turns into a pissing match. You can't use that one. you got to use this one, Scott. You're an idiot. Try this one. I've tried them all, folks. Love you so much. Talk to you soon.